What's happening guys? Today we're going to be talking about whether the college, the university that you go to actually matters. Now this is a question that I have touched on in other videos before, but I haven't really gone into it deeply in detail like I'm going to in this video. And I was inspired to make this video after I read a fantastic article by Investopedia. I will be referencing that article in this video. I'm going to talk about some of their findings and I'm also going to talk about my own experiences. Now before getting into this first of all I'm gonna set a goal of 1,000 likes on this video so gently tap that like button 1,000 times also if you haven't done it already hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell about 20% of people that watch my channel are subscribed it's going up a little bit um, but yeah there's a lot of people who just watch it but they don't hit the subscribe button come on guys just do it do it but yeah before we get into this I just want to make it very clear that I'm not talking about schools that are clearly kind of like scammy type schools like some of the for-profit online colleges you know some of these colleges have actually been in the news because they clearly misrepresented the value that their degree gave people some of them have had to actually pay back all of the people who attended the schools okay so i'm not referring to those schools and i've talked about that in other videos i have i think one or two videos specifically dedicated to avoiding those types of schools on the channel. So go ahead and check those out. What I'm basically going to be talking about in this video is whether going to maybe for your first two years going to a community college and then transferring to a normal state school, not like an especially prestigious state school, just an all around good state school versus going to a very prestigious like liberal arts or Ivy League school. And then I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons to both of those options and when one is going to be better than the other. So in the article, Investopedia basically compared a public school, which would basically be like a normal state school, private school, and then an Ivy League school. And in case you aren't familiar, basically public schools are generally going to be cheaper and private schools and Ivy League schools are generally going to be much more expensive because they can charge more. So in the article, they basically showed that over four years, the four-year total cost would be for a public school $120,855. For a private school, $247,295. And for an Ivy League school, slightly more expensive, $254,257. And then they compared the hypothetical starting salary at each of these individual types of schools. So people who are starting school now would presumably graduate in 2024, and they had the starting salary at about $92,000 for public schools, $96,000 for private schools, and $87,000 for Ivy Leagues. So basically what that means is you will make more on average after graduating from a public school than you do from an Ivy League. However, you will make slightly more than average after graduating from a private school than you do after graduating from a public one. And then what they did is they projected the salary out about 10 years, assuming that it grows about 6% per year, which is a little bit ambitious in my opinion, but that's totally fine because they did the same to all of them. And then they showed the price to earnings ratio of each type of degree. So how much did the public school degree cost versus how much you're going to earn? This is basically an indicator of what the ROI is at least over 10 years. And it showed very clearly that public school had a 0.86 PE which is by far the best. Uh, 1.69 for private school was the second best. And the worst by far was the Ivy League school at 1.91. And then they basically went into a little bit deeper analysis. They talked about net present value. And again, the public school came out on top. So clearly when we're talking about, you know, averages here, the public school education is going to be the best investment. However, if you look at individual circumstances, there are going to be some exceptions. And that is what I'm going to be talking about in the rest of the video. And by the way, the Investopedia article, uh, that's not the only article I've read. It was just the best one. There's lots of different studies out there and articles that have basically shown the same thing. Now the Investopedia article basically was using more current data, but there are some studies out there that showed that in the past, going to an Ivy League school was a little bit better than going to a public school in terms of how much you earn after graduating. And some theories for why this is, the reason the Investopedia article's numbers were off is a lot of people might go to an Ivy League school and then they just never get a job, right? Because they're already rich in many cases and so they don't need to earn any money. But even if you take the best of these numbers when it comes to Ivy League schools, the ones that show that Ivy Leagues uh, make more uh, than public universities, 
um, it still doesn't make up the difference in cost. So if you are going to take out student loans for this, it's going to be ridiculously expensive and it's not going to be a good return on investment on average. So one example of where it might be worth it is if you're going to a school that's really well known for your specific major. So for instance, uh, I'm a pharmacist and in the pharmacy world, uh, two of the top schools are going to be the University of San Francisco and also Florida, right, UF. Now it's kind of weird because, you know, Florida really isn't known for a lot of things, but their pharmacy school just happens to be fantastic. And same for the University of San Francisco. So if you were to go to those schools, it might be easier for you to get into a prestigious residency or maybe a fellowship or get hired by a company that it would be a lot harder for other people to get hired by. So in that specific circumstance, it might be worth it. On the same line of thinking, there are some colleges that are basically pipeline schools to different companies. So for whatever reason, the company either has a partnership, you know, literally, or kind of like indirectly, they have a partnership with that university, and they're gonna be going to that university's career fairs, they're gonna know people at the university, sometimes the faculty, so the professors, for instance, sometimes the people who are in the career center, and so you are going to have a much better chance of getting in contact with them and getting hired by them after graduating. And this is especially prevalent if you have schools that are in specific areas. So obvious examples of this would be, let's say you go to Stanford, there's a very good chance if you go to Stanford for computer science, you're gonna get hired by a company in the Silicon Valley area because it's very close. Same thing with University of Washington though. It's in Seattle, a lot of big companies up in Seattle, so there's a very good chance you might get hired by one of them just because you went to the University of Washington. Another example of where it might be worth it to go to a specific school, and in this example, specifically an Ivy League school, would be let's say you want to get into a very prestigious, very difficult to get into job on Wall Street. Like you wanna work at Goldman Sachs or something along those lines. It might help you to go to a school like Princeton, for instance, and study finance. There are a lot of Princeton graduates, Princeton alumni who work on Wall Street and they like to help their own people out. So going to a school because they have a very good alumni network that might help you out in very specific situations could also be a good thing. But let's be realistic here. I wanna talk about the extra work that it takes to get into an Ivy League school. So in those studies that I referenced earlier where it showed that people who go to Ivy League schools do earn a little bit more than people who go to public schools, one thing that the study didn't really take into account is the fact that people who tend to go to Ivy League schools probably are also people who attend to be overachievers. And so there's probably a good chance that those same people would make just as much money if they went to a public school than if they went to a private school. And it is ridiculously hard to get into an Ivy League school. You have to have ridiculously good grades. You have to score very high on your ACTs and your SATs. You have to write fantastic essays. You have to apply probably to basically all of them in order to get into one of them, at least if you're like a good student, but not an amazing student. And even then there's a very good chance you won't end up getting into an Ivy League school, right? So basically the summary here is for most people on average, the best route for you to do is to go to a state school, right? Just go to a public school. It's a lot cheaper. Education is pretty much just as good. You're gonna get paid around the same amount and it's a lot easier for you to get into. In very rare cases and very rare circumstances, it's worth it for you to go to maybe like a fancy private school or an Ivy League school. You know, something like you want to start a tech company in Silicon Valley, maybe it would be worth it for you to go to Stanford just because that does carry a little bit of clout with it and you're also going to have an alumni network that's right there in your backyard. But the vast majority of the time for most people, People, it really doesn't matter. And the only difference it's going to make is to your wallet. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video.